Hi all, in previous video we saw how to upload a blob into container, link provided in description box. In this video let's see how to get a list of blobs from the container and how to download the blob from the container. Let's see, uh, here created a sample console application. For using Azure storage account we need to install the package azure.storage.blobs. For that right click on your solution name, click manage new jet packages, uh, install the package azure.storage.blobs. Uh, I already installed that. After that, have to import the namespace Azure, Azure.Storage.Blobs, Azure.Storage.Blobs.Model. In previous video, we uploaded a blobs class.png, sample text file.txt. Uh, now, let's see how to retrieve a list of blobs from the container. Uh, here, created a sample function for getting a list of blobs from the container. Inside this function, just assign the container name and the connection string. In previous video, we saw how to create a container and get a connection string from Azure portal that you should provide here. After that, we have to create an object for blob service client class. Inside the parenthesis, we have to provide the connection string. By using this object, we can call the method get blob container client. We have to pass container name as parameter to this method. This method will create an object for blob container client class and appending the container details to blob service client URI and return to blob container client object. And by using this object, we can call the method get blob asynchronous or get blob without asynchronous like this. When using without asynchronous, then no need to add a wait keyword. Let's use asynchronous method. By using this method, we can iterate number of blob items in the container. Um, by using this blob item object, we can get the property of the blob. Here, getting the name property and displaying that. Let's execute and check. See, in my container, there are two blobs displaying the name of the blob. Next, let's see how to download your blob. We can download your blob by file, by stream or by a string content. Uh, let's see by a file first. Uh, here created a sample function for download your blob. Inside this function, assign a container name and connection string and created an object for blob service client class. By using this object, getting a container details. By using container client object, calling the method get blob client. When calling this method, we have to pass blob name as parameter. And this method will create an object for blob client class and append the blob details to container client URI and return to blob client object. Uh, by using this object, we can call the method download to asynchronous or download to without asynchronous method to download our file. When using without asynchronous, then no need to provide await keyword. Let's use asynchronous. Inside the parenthesis, we have to provide the file path along with the file name to download the file. In this path, our blob will download in this name. Now let's change the function name and execute. See, file will download. Let's check the path. See. A file downloaded successfully and in previous video we saw how to upload a blob as file and how to upload a blob as stream and uh, now we saw how to download a blob as file uh, now let's see how to download a blob to stream here inside download to asynchronous method we are assigning a file path like this we have to assign a file stream object let's see it's same as like above Except that how to create a file stream object and pass that file stream object into download to asynchronous method then how to close the file stream object uh, when passing a file stream object into download to asynchronous method it's download the blob and write the content into destination that is inside this path uh, let's change the file name let's change this function name let's exit and check let's check the path See, see our blob downloaded as stream successfully. In previous video, we saw how to upload a string content into blob. We can also download the string content from the blob. And uh, let's see. Uh, it's same as like above. Instead of using download to method, we have to use download content asynchronous method or download content method. And by using content property, getting the content from the blob and printing that. Let's see. Let's change the function name. Let's execute and check. See? 
our stem content retrieved successfully. In our next video, we will see how to delete and restore a blob in container. Thank you for watching. Sample code given in description box. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.